My name is Byron Nyango from the Nairobi School, Nairobi County. My name is Evan Sabuga from the Nairobi School, Nairobi County. My name is Nisha Desdor from the Nairobi School, Nairobi County. My name is Sajas Malika from Makweni Boys High School, Makweni County. I'm Yvonne Otieno from St. Barnabas Girls Secondary School from Kisumu County. My name is Ketwins Letuma from St. Barnabas Girls Secondary School, Kisumu County. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. Every step of the way since we began at this competition has been exciting and pulsating. We have seen speed as fast as lightning, observed perseverance, been impressed by accuracy and the knowledge that these geniuses have displayed. This is the last preliminary episode of InterSwitch Spark National Science Competition Kenya 3.0. Proudly switched on by InterSwitch. Never stop. exciting being on InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition Kenya. Our six Super SPACs are ready on stage. Today marks the end of the preliminary stage. Evans, how are you today? Fine. You look happy. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. I saw you in a very good mood even before you got on stage. Is there a performance you'd like to give us? None. 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 <laughs> yes. Welcome Evans. Sajid, yes. what are some of the things that the students told you before you embarked on this journey? They told me I'd be confident and make it. Has there been any other contestant on the show from Makwendi Boys? No, they have been knocked out. They were in this particular season? Yeah. Well then, Sajid, all the best to you. Thank you. Kate, with a C, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. To our six contestants, welcome to the competition. Two of you will proceed to the semi-final stage at the end of today's show. It is now time to find out who our InterSweet Spark Hero of the Week is. Kenyan Professor Washington Yoto Ocheng is the head of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Imperial College in the UK. He has been credited with solving London's transportation crisis via his research interests in the design of positioning and navigation systems for land, sea and air applications, air traffic management and intelligent transport systems. The Kendu Bay born Ocheng had his bachelor's degree in science and engineering from the University of Nairobi in 1988. He has a PhD in Satellite Odyssey from the University of Nottingham in 1993. Professor Washington has been honored with various awards for its accomplishments, some of which are the Imperial College London Excellence in Teaching Award 2006, GPS World Magazine Global. He was also elected a Fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering in 2009. Super Sparks, just like Professor Ching, you can also be problem solvers. And so if you take Africa to be obviously developing and so on, in terms of improving the quality of living of our people, we've got a job to do. Just as Washington is a problem solver, I hope that our contestants will work towards problems in society and find the best solutions. We'll go on a short break, after which the foundation level begins. Two decades ago, we flipped the switch, flooded the dark continent with light, created an industry, opened the doors that ushered in the future. Africa is emerging. Visionaries are evolving. But it wasn't always this way. Before the beginning, cash ruled the streets and crime was its aid. Africa was broken, coping with the darkness. Until we founded the switch and turned on the future. 
20 years after, the dark continent is now bursting with innovation and we're just getting started. Until Africa is borderless, limitless, we are never stopping. Welcome to the Odyssey, the first experience. The future begins today. Thank you for tuning in. This is Interswitch Spark Kenya 3.0, the final preliminary episode. We have six contestants on stage ready to tackle the questions in the foundation round. Our contestants, you'll have 12 questions to be answered each within 15 seconds. Marks are awarded based on an individual's accuracy and speed. For questions in this round, the first three contestants to get the correct answer will earn 10 points, after which five points will be awarded to any other student who gets the correct answer. Our contestants, I wish you the very best of luck. Foundation round question one. Which of the following enzymes helps to cuddle milk? Which of the following enzymes helps to cuddle milk? Is it pepsin, renin, peptone, or lactase? Which enzyme cuddles milk? Byron, yes. are you doing? Fine, thank you. Do let us know what your favorite subject is. Physics. Physics? Yes. All right, but this is still a question in the sciences. So, <coughs> what did you pick as the correct answer to this question? Uh, option B, Renin. Renin. Yes. So, Byron believes Renin cuddles milk. Yvonne? I also think it's Renin. You also think it's Renin? Yes. The correct answer is indeed Renin. Kate, you're the only one who did not provide the correct answer, but I'm sure from today onwards you cannot miss that question. We proceed, question two. For correcting long sight defects in the human eye, we require a what? A microscope, converging lens, a diverging lens, or a periscope to correct long sight defects. Nishad. Yes. How can we correct long sight defects in the human eye? Um, we can correct that by using a converging lens. A converging lens. Evans, also from Nairobi School, what do you think? I chose a diverging lens. You chose a diverging lens? Yes. Would you choose it again? I'm You're not, not sure? Yes. A converging lens is the correct answer. These are the points. Question three, find the value of X. Find the value of X. Is it 25, 12 degrees, 20 degrees or 15 degrees? What is the value of X? 15 seconds are up. Kate, how can we find the value of x? We can find the value of x by subtracting 65 from 90 because it's a right angle triangle. And what would we arrive at? 25 degrees. 25 degrees. Yvonne? Yeah, I got 25 degrees. You also got 25 degrees. All the contestants, apart from Nishad, got this right. That was a right angle. The correct answer is 25 degrees. Best of luck in question number four. Which phenomenon involves the rise or fall of a liquid in a narrow tube? Which phenomenon involves the rise or fall of a liquid in a narrow tube? Is it capillarity, viscosity, surface tension, or osmosis? Byron? I chose capillarity. Capillarity? Nishad, what about you? Capillarity. Capillarity is the correct answer. All the contestants knew this. We proceed. Question five. The equation shown represents a process called what? Is this photosynthesis? Is this variation? Is this glycolysis? Or is it respiration? What is this process called? Yvonne? I think it's respiration. What about you, Kate? Respiration. Respiration. Anyone with a contrary opinion? Yes. Evans? Yes. <laughs> photosynthesis is the correct answer. Nishad, Ivan, Sajias and Byron got this right. 10 points to three of them who had the fastest response times and five points to Byron Omolo. Question number six. The unit of quantity of electricity is called. The unit of quantity of electricity is called what? Is it the ammeter, the coulomb, the ampere or volts? What is the unit of quantity of electricity? Ivan? 
manufactures ampere. Ampere is the correct answer, the unit of quantity of electricity. However, none of the contestants were able to input the answer. I believe it's both because we were fast to answering and ammeter definitely looked like ampere. Let's proceed. This is question seven of the foundation round. If a to the power of two, three equals six, find two a to the power of four point three. Is it 36? Is it 72? Is it six or is it 12? What is the correct answer? Yvonne, Kate and Evans were able to get the correct answer, which is option B, 72. Next question. Which compound is represented by letter Y in the reaction shown? Is it A, FeNO3, B, FeNO3, 2, C, FeNO2, or D, FeNO3? A was Fe, to brackets NO3, 3. Byron? Yes, I chose uh, option B. Option B? Yes. Why is that? Because uh, silver is balanced by two, so nitrate will have to be balanced also by two. By two. The correct answer is indeed option B. Evans and Byron got that right, earning themselves 10 points each. Question nine. Tissues work together to form a what? Tissues work together to form a system, an animal, an organ, or a cell. What do tissues work together to form? Sajas. An organ. An organ. Nishad. An organ. An organ is correct. Option C. Only Yvonne did not get it right. We still have three questions to go. You still have a chance to make it. As long as you get the correct points, enough points and also be fast in your responses. Question number 10. Which of the gas laws is represented by the image? Which of the gas laws is represented by the image? Is it Boyle's law, Charles law, ideal gas law or Graham's law? Kate, give it a try. Boyle's law. Why do you choose Boyle's law? Because from the diagram, you can see that the volume of the gas is inversely proportional to the pressure. Boyle's law, indeed. Points all round apart from evens. Next question, 11 of the foundation round. Which of the following does not represent the pair of integers AB such that A divided by B equals 3? Is it A, 9, 3? B, minus 12, minus 4, C, minus 6, minus 2, or D, minus 3, and 1. The correct answer is option D, but how did our contestants fare? Kate, you're not able to input your answer within 15 seconds. Points all round to the other contestants. The final question of the foundation round. Which of the following elements have the electronic configuration of 1S2, 2S2? Is it helium? Is it boron? Is it carbon? Or is it beryllium? Which element has that electronic configuration? Here are the results. Evans, Nishad and Kate were able to gain 10 points. While Sergius, Yvonne and Byron missed a chance to get any points in this question. Our six contestants have attempted 12 questions, each question within 15 seconds. The results are in. It is time to find out who drops out of this race at this point. With 45 points and a very good show of knowledge, let's give it up for Kate as she exits the stage. <laughs> Yvonne, you've also done incredibly well. However, we only need four contestants in the advanced round and you're one of them. So congratulations, you get to continue participating in the competition with 55 points and falling behind with only five points from that of the fourth position suggests it is goodbye for now we believe you're going to do exploits in the future all the best thank you kindly give it up for him this leaves us with Nishad, byron yvonne and evans this were your total points evans 90 points nishad 75 points Yvonne 60 points, 
and Byron 75 points. You have made it to the advanced round and after the break, you get to show us your prowess once again. This is Interswitch Spark National Science Competition 3.0. Stay with us. Hmm. Let me tell you a story. Our story blooms over two decades ago in a humble university dorm room where the weight of the dark put a strain on our hands, a stain on the sheet where we mapped out our plans, but innovation lit our eyes with a fire to blaze the trail, to change Africa. One solution, one transaction at a time. Our ears listened to the chimes, the buzzing tune of bright ideas. We stretched out our hands, and remember what we did? We flipped the switch. We flipped the switch, it was no ordinary motion. It was to herald a new notion. It is a champion's charge, your invitation to stand on our shoulders. It is your time for innovation. So go ahead, flip that switch. Build that business, scale that hitch. Africa's future is waiting on us. And what looks like the sky is only the dew. We are on the brink of something new. Because at InterSwitch, we never stop. So you don't stop. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us on Interstreet Spark National Science Competition. Evans, Yvonne, Byron, and Nishad will attempt 10 questions within 45 seconds in the advanced round. What are they playing for? Today, two contestants will proceed to the semi-finals. They will then have a chance to move on to the final and be in the race to win 1.5 million Kenya shillings in scholarship. Who will make it? To determine the order of play, here is our take a turn question for today. Match the following organism with their appropriate respiratory organ. We have the respiratory organ as the lungs, gills, the cell membrane, and the tracheal system. The organisms are tapeworm, birds, insects, and fishes. Nishad Okutoi has been able to provide an answer. Byron has also be, been able to solve this puzzle. We're now waiting on Evans and Yvonne who've also been able to solve this puzzle. Congratulations to our contestants. Going fast and attempting 10 questions within 45 seconds will be Nishad. Nishad, are you ready? My name is Nishad Okutoi from Nairobi School, Nairobi County, and I'm ready to spark. Nishad, now is your time to spark. The alcohol with the lowest molecular weight fast. is? Which scientists first determine the atomic number of atoms by using x-rays? The force that enables a screw to hold pieces of metals together is? Pass. What is the velocity of a body at maximum height from vertically upward? What is the acid anhydride of sulfurous acid H2SO3? Pass. How many oxides does carbon form? Two. A man is 1.465 meters tall, round of his height. Simplify into Pass. brackets 5x plus 3. How many centimeters are in a meter? What is the full meaning of WWW? One wide web. The alcohol with the lowest molecular Pass. weight is? We scientists first determine the atomic number of atoms by the use of x-rays. Which force enables a screw to hold pieces of metal together? Electrostatic forces. What is the velocity of a body at Pass. maximum height? But that is it for you. Ten questions. Kindly give it up for him. <laughs> Byron, are you ready? My name is Byron Omolo from the Nairobi School and I'm ready to spark. Byron, now is your time to spark. A body's change in position with time Velocity. is called? What is the resultant force of H. two forces? How many valence electrons does fluorine have? What, which of the halogens has the smallest atomic Fluorine. radius? The largest internal organ in the human is? Liver. The scientific the scientific name for dog Aris is? Familiaris. If 0 0.5 is expressed as a fraction in its lowest term, what is the value of half its denominator? If 4x plus 2 equals minus 3x plus 5, then the Pass. value of 7x is? What's the fastest land animal on earth? Snake. Button is the study of? Plants. A body's change in position with time is called? How many valence electrons does fluorine have? One. The scientific name for a Canis dog is? Familiaris. 4x plus 2 equals minus 3x plus 5, Pass. then the value of 7x is? All right, that is it for Byron. Give it up for him. <laughs> Evans, are you ready? My name is Evans Abuga from Nairobi School. I'm ready to spark. Evans, now is your time to spark. If log the base of 2m equals 5, then what is the value of m? 25. Simplify the expression 4 into brackets Pass. 3 plus 
The charging of a body by placing another charged body near it without contact is called? Bus. The temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals the external pressure surrounded by the liquid is? In a human eye, the image of an object is formed on the? Retina. The respiratory organ present in mammals Lungs. is? Which country has the highest population in the world? China. Which Kenyan president won re-election in 2007? Monkey The world's checkmate is associated with which sport? Chess. Which is the largest island in Africa? Madagascar. If log base of 2m equals 5, then what is the value of m? 25. Simplify the expression 4 into brackets 3 plus 2x minus x plus Pass. 2. That is it for Evans. Give it up for him. Yvonne, are you ready? I'm Yvonne Otieno from St. Barnabas Girls, and I'm ready to spark. Yvonne, now is your time to spark. Lack of what type of food in the body leads to kwashiakoo in children? Proteins. The removal of metabolic waste and toxic Excretion. substances? Excretion. The horizontal rows of periodic table is termed as? Periods. How many electrons are there in a hydrogen atom? One. Zero. The introduction of harmful materials into the environment is termed as? Pollution. Red color of the cells is due to the presence of? Hemoglobin. An object of volume 1 meter to the power of 3 n mass 2 kgs is totally immersed in a liquid of Pass. density 1. What work can be done by an engine in 20 seconds to the power of 250 watts? Pass. Find the multiplicative inverse of 1, 3 over 5. Pass. A polygon with four sides is called? Pass. An object of volume 1 meter to the power of 3 n mass 2 kg is totally immersed in a liquid of density 1 kilogram meter to the power of negative 3. Calculate its apparent weight. Pass. Okay, that is it for Yvonne. Kindly give it up for them. <laughs> Only two out of the four of you contestants will make it to the semi-finals. Sometimes the speed that gets you there, sometimes it's your accuracy, but all of them combined will give us the winner of this season. Yvonne, you earned 120 points and will be proceeding to the semi-finals. So congratulations, Yvonne, with 100 points. And with 80 points, Byron and Nishad. Unfortunately, this is the end of your Spark journey. It has been an honor to have you. Tying in points with Yvonne, we have Evans. 120 points will take you to the semi-finals of this show. Kindly give it up to Byron and Nishad as they exit the stage. When the mind is open, there is no limit to creativity. This was the last preliminary episode and Evans and Yvonne have made it to the semi-final stage. These are the last contestants making up the 18 that we need at the semi-finals. Next week, we begin the race to the finals. Who will make it? Who will be the winner of this season of Interspeed Spark Kenya 3.0? There's only one way to find out and I hope I see you next week. Interswitch SPAC is an Interswitch Switch a Future initiative.